Hello there and welcome to the October 2020 paper. Here we're looking at question 4. The function f is defined by f of x equals 3x minus 7 over x minus 2. Find f inverse of 7. Okay, so what we could effectively do there is, um, if we think about it as an input and an output function, then for our main function f, it would take x inputs to y outputs, and then the inverse function would um, return them back to the x inputs having uh, uh, knowing what the y input number is. So we effectively want to work out if we put 7 into the inverse function what will be our output which is effectively work out the input when your output is 7. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sneakily do f so 3x minus 7 over x minus 2 equals 7. It's effectively the same question. It's effectively, if your output is 7, find out what your input is, because that's what inverse functions do. They take you from outputs and return you back to inputs. So let's now work out this answer. 3x minus 7 equals 14x minus 14, sorry, 7x minus 14. Uh, move all the x's onto the right hand side. Um, Move your 14 onto the left-hand side, that will now be 7. So it would be 7 over 4 is your value for x. Okay, so there we are. That's the answer for part b. Let's now move on to, so part a, move on to part b now. Show that f of x, f of f of x is equal to ax plus b, where a and b are integers to be found. Okay, so that's putting the function back into its function again. So f of f of x is going to be f of 3x minus 7 over x minus 2. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put this function here into both positions where x is in my f of x equation. So it's going to be 3 brackets 3x minus 7 over x minus 2 minus 7 over 3x minus 7 over x minus 2 minus 2. Okay, so what we're going to do here to, to simplify it going forwards is we're now going to straight away times the top and bottom by x minus 2. That's going to make life so much easier for ourselves. So it's going to be 3 brackets, 3x minus 7. It will get rid of the x minus 2 but then there now will be an x minus 2 on the 7 over 3x minus 7. That will cancel it out here, but now we're going to have an x minus 2 on uh, the denominator where the 2 is. Let's now expand and simplify. It's going to be 9x minus 21 minus 7x, and then double negative plus the 14 over 3x minus 7, minus 2x, and then minus 2 times minus 2 will be plus 4. So let's now simplify that. 9x minus 7x, that's going to be equal 2x. Minus 21 plus uh, 14 will be minus 7. Over 3x minus 2x is x and minus, uh, so x and minus 7 plus 4 will be minus 3. So therefore, a is equal to 2 and b is equal to minus 7. So there we are. That's the answer for question 4 there. Five marks in total for that whole question. Let's now move on to question 5.